Primary election day in Pennsylvania is just one week away and you'll notice a handful of changes if you cast your ballot this year. And with the clock ticking and with the deadline to apply for the mail-in ballot now half an hour behind us, local election officials are reminding you of what you need to know when it's time to cast your vote. A week before election day, Stephanie Phillips has already completed her civic duty, voting today at the Erie County Courthouse. But as she voted, she was greeted by a welcome sight, free parking outside the courthouse. I was so thrilled to see that sign. I couldn't even tell you I was worried about finding a parking space and walking, and I didn't have to, just pull right up. Whoever thought of it is a genius. County Clerk Julie Slomsky says it's a small change, but it makes voting easier, and it helps make sure that every person casts only their ballot. You can just park right here, and there's four voters in the car. All four voters can get out, drop in their ballot, and go right back on their way. Slomsky says if you waited until today to apply for an absentee or mail-in ballot, you're still fine, but when it comes time to return it, either drop it off in the ballot drop box or take it inside to the voter registration office. Trying to get one mailed to you and mailed back in a week just isn't a good idea. So I had a woman I just spoke to earlier today that had said, you know, I can't make it down there today. Can you mail it to me? I said, sure, but promise me you're going to, you know, drop it off in the box. She said, absolutely. Uh, just in terms of timing, because again, we are one week away from Election Day. The earlier ballots are returned, the sooner the county can get them ready to count. But even in a primary, expect delays. Pennsylvania doesn't allow votes to be counted until Election Day. And with nearly 20,000 mail-in applications, Erie County might have to sort through a lot of ballots before tallying final results. Our plan is to have a full team to be able to ready to get through as much as we can. Um, you know, we're estimating right now possibly a day and a half, but again, it all determines on you know additional factors or, or what have you. And now that we're just a week away, make a voting plan. Make sure you know where your polling place is, figure out when you're going to vote, and that way you go through the day with only minor interruptions. One other thing with the ballot box, only one ballot per person. Even if your significant other, your, your father, whatever, your mother, whoever is in the car, you can't cast their ballot. They have to physically cast it unless you get a written form from the county. One person, one vote.